Welcome back. This is the qualitative election study of Britain's election night special. I am Edzia. I'm Christy. Um, we are talking about our participants' uh, impressions of the seven party leaders and we finally reached Nigel Farage. Who's our last person? So this is the last leaders one will be doing. Yes. So we, um, as we've mentioned before, we asked our participants to silently brainstorm about um, on the uh, photographs of the leaders and to write down positive, neutral and negative associations of the leaders. And so here we have positive associations for Nigel Farage. Right. So the things that people said positively about him was that he seemed to be a genuine bloke. They described him as charismatic. They also described him as being astute and clever. They saw him as being articulate and also as a very good speaker. So I think the thing that really characterizes him more so, let's say contrasting most with, with uh, uh, David Cameron, is that they do see him as speaking the language of common people, that he doesn't talk like a politician. He talks like an ordinary person and he talks about things that ordinary people care about. That's right. Um, in terms of neutral associations, somebody, uh, I think a couple of people mentioned aggressive, but they mentioned it as neutral because they felt that it could be both a positive and a negative depending on the context. Mm -hmm. um, some people said that he was isolated, especially in the debates, the seven-way debates where um, he was kind of shunted to one side or even the challenges debate where he was shunted to one side. Um, some mentioned odd and attention-seeking as well as neutrals. Right. And then in terms of negatives, there's really sort of two categories of negative comments that Nigel um, received from our participants. One was that um, although they see him as being articulate and clever and a good speaker and saying things that ordinary people really care about, they also question, because they see him as smart and articulate, as whether or not he really believes everything that he's saying or if he's saying things just to get his supporters riled up. And so does he really believe what he says? manipulative, insincere, and untrustworthy. There's also a little bit of the smugness that we find um, with the polish of the three main party leaders, although that's that wasn't one of the main ones. And then the other category was people reacting to what they see as the darker side, shall we say, of the UKIP uh, uh, party, which is that it's scary, it really can be quite nasty, and that there are problems with racism or racists within the party. So those three words, nasty, nasty, scary, and racist, did come up. So more so than probably you know, even Nicola, Nigel had very intense positives. And they were positives that were about connecting with ordinary people's lives. And the negatives were about, in some ways, alienating people from their parties because um, they, you know, made them feel uncomfortable with what they were saying about immigration and immigrants. Yeah. So, um, in one of the um, other vlogs, we are going to try and compare the seven party leaders, especially in the context of the debates, and try and find out um, why Nicola and Nigel came on top in many of the polls. Um, on, um, immediately following the debates, but that's probably in an hour. Yeah. So till then. Yes, yeah, so we're doing debates next. Yeah. All right, we're doing debate next. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> till then, it's Edzia and Christy. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.